Your child has been sick all day with a fever, which is a temperature at or above 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. You hear a noise on the baby monitor and go into the room to find your child having uncontrollable jerking movements of their arms and legs, and their eyes are rolled back. This is a seizure. It's normal to be scared. Take a deep breath. To keep your child safe during a seizure, gently roll them onto their side in case they throw up. Do not put anything in their mouth. Do not shake them. Try to time the length of the seizure if you can and seek medical attention, even if you think it's a febrile seizure. A febrile or fever seizure occurs in children six months to five years of age when they have an illness. They are especially common in children under the age of two and usually last one to five minutes. Be assured, they will not occur every time your child has a fever. During a seizure, your child's brain is overactive. It sends lots of different messages, causing uncontrolled body movements. This can be scary to watch, but don't worry, your child will not remember anything from the seizure. This much brain activity is really tiring. Afterwards, your child will appear sleepy, but they should still respond to you. This tired phase usually lasts five to 30 minutes. You may need to call 911 if the seizure lasts more than five minutes your child has trouble breathing or turns blue, or they do not begin responding to you after the seizure stops. When you see the doctor, your child will be fully examined. They likely will not need to stay in hospital or require any testing. In rare cases, if a child is not back to normal behavior, monitoring and testing may occur. But usually, children can safely return home after an assessment. If your child is uncomfortable, you can give them medication for the fever. Give them acetaminophen, like Tylenol, or ibuprofen, like Advil or Motrin. The appropriate dose is based on your child's weight. Ask a healthcare professional, such as a nurse, doctor, or pharmacist for advice on dosing. The medication usually will make your child feel better within an hour. Do not put them in a cool bath, as shivering may cause temperature to rise. Remember, there's nothing you could have done to prevent the seizure from happening. Some people worry that a higher number on the thermometer will make their child more likely to have a seizure. This is not true. Febrile seizures can happen at any temperature during an illness. It's uncommon to have two or more seizures within an illness. If this happens, seek medical attention right away. It's also uncommon for children with a single febrile seizure to develop a seizure disorder like epilepsy. Most children outgrow febrile seizures by the time they are school-aged. And rest assured, your child will not have brain damage from a febrile seizure. They will continue to grow, learn, and develop normally. Be sure to share this video with family and child care providers. And for more information on healthcare for kids, visit trek.ca.